had a drainage complaint from a Miss Stella Ellis. To do these kind of projects, we have to get all property owners that will be involved if we're going to be on their land to sign off on a construction agreement. And that basically has a right of way, what we're going to be doing, the logistics of the project, and so on and so forth. The problem area was after big rain events, we had a lot of flow coming out of the pipe and it was coming down the ditch. It was just a straight channel and it was eroding the channel so much that it was actually affecting flow and affecting the yard. It was also being caused by the landowner cutting up to the ditch bank, which was kind of like killing the root mass. But there was also a 90 degree bend in the ditch where if we've got six inches of rain, this drains one, uh, 13, it drains inland toward Laurel. So it has a lot of area that it's coming through. And basically Sarah's uh, idea was to return this to a channel with overflow so that way it wouldn't wash out anymore, it would be stabilized and with the native plants, you know, in a wetland. So our design engineer, Sarah Esposito, and another engineer named DJ Roach came up with a design and Bill Kirsch did the CAD. Basically what they came up with was actually returning this to more of a stream restoration and putting in this planting area. So basically during these high rain events, we can actually have this buffer it out with native plants and it'll return back to the bottom of the creek and flow out. Records Pond is behind us about four to 500 feet that way. Well, basically what we did was there's a pooling site right by the pipe. So when the flow comes out, it pools here. And then when it search, reaches a certain level, it starts to trickle down. And then down as we go, the riffle sites to kind of ease up the velocity to keep it flowing, but to also ease it up. We try to keep as much as we can as far as trees, root mass to kind of stabilize banks. The rip wrap around the tree is basically to protect it, the roots, because uh, during excavation it might have chipped the root or something like that. So using the rip wrap will help keep it stabilized and the bank stabilized too. In this case, Sussex Conservation District was our contractor. They did an awesome job and we just have a punch list going over it. After that, we have a year monitoring phase to kind of keep up with it see if we need to seed a little bit more. We have a drainage hotline in Sussex. They call in, a field guy will go out, take a look at the situation. Sometimes these become 21st century projects like this. Huh. 21st century project is basically funded projects through government programs, representatives, uh, DENREC itself, but it takes years for that money to allocate to get a project done.